It's really interesting to see all the formations that lava has made. Look at this. Isn't that really cool? Wow. It's really cool. It's like a drip castle, kind of. But it's made out of rock. All sorts of different colors. We've got some sulfur. I don't really smell any sulfur in the air. No SO2. But there's plenty of steam. This place is still hot. It's kind of like a sauna. And now it's really starting to rain. Wow. Look at that. This tree almost got burnt. Well, you can't see anything, it's so steamy. You can see ferns have started to grow on the lava flow. It's the first thing to start to grow on this lava flow. You see they're growing all over. Look at that. That's pretty cool. And there's a whole bunch over here. Right down there. This is all just on the lava flow. You know? Look at this. There's a couple ferns. Doesn't look like the sulfur buildup has increased. This looks to be about the same as last time I was here. Not a whole lot of sulfur, but definitely steam. My legs are kind of cooking right now. It's like a sauna in here. It's hardened lava. Wow, that's a lot of heat. I can feel it right here. Wow, look at that. Oh my goodness. There's a lot of heat coming off here. It's still warm after a year. I'm just blown away by how much heat is coming off these cracks still. A year later, and these cracks have a lot of heat coming out of them. This crack has gotten bigger for sure. You can see that tree fell in there. Let's look at the edge. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's a pretty big crack. It goes pretty deep. It's definitely gotten bigger. This crack right here. You can see plant life growing in this crack. It's already started to grow weeds and grass. It's a big crack. Lava tree. Lava burnt down this tree and created a mold. Pretty cool. And that's Fisher 10. Look at that. Still steaming. There's not much new at Fisher 10. It's still just steaming. Not a whole lot of SO2 smell. Or sulfur smell. But it is still steaming. It's still warm or hot. It has not completely cooled. That'll have to do. The plants in this area are starting to come back. They were looking pretty bad because of the SO2 gases, the volcanic gases. 
and the acid rain was killing them off. But I see a lot of new growth. You know, from six months ago, this place looked like a war zone. But now it's starting to look good. I know Rod takes care of his property and he's really into plants and growing food. Here's a chipotacaba. This is so good. Chipotacaba is so good. It's so delicious. If you haven't had it, try to get some. It's so good. And you can see that it was kind of hurting. You can see all this dead branches and stuff. But then in the past six months, it's starting to heal. It's starting to have new growth. So it's awesome. We have a lychee over here. And that lychee is looking good. So I see some new growth on it. I want to welcome all my new subscribers to my channel. Thank you guys for watching my videos. I have the best viewers on YouTube. Thank you so much. Now I'm going to wrap this video up right here. It's still steaming like crazy, but again, there's really no sulfur smell. And I know during the 1955 flow, there was a steam vents that were created along the 130 and those are still steaming. So this could be steaming for 50 years or 100 years. We don't know when this will stop steaming. Now, luckily the SO2 levels have dropped, but it could go back up. It could just steam like this for 100 years right here. I mean, it's just amazing. And I want to thank Rod. He was one of the people that were helping uh, Leilani residents evacuate and get all their stuff out of their house before it got covered in lava. So I'm going to thank Rod. He's awesome. Uh, you've seen him in a couple of my videos. Oh man, it's just amazing. I mean, look at this. Look behind me. It's just steam everywhere. Just steaming up. Oh wow. Well, thank you, Rod. Thank you guys, much mahalo for watching my videos. You guys are awesome. 